Come on. Focus. You're almost done. I just have to enter in these receipts. Let's see. Sum equals, nope, equals sum parentheses A5 through A12. <gasps> what was that in the kitchen? Baby, are you okay? Honey, what happened? What is this broken all over the floor? Is this a handle? Oh, you dropped a mug. Are you okay? Did any of it hit you? Are you sure? Okay, hop up on the counter and sit there while I grab the broom. Go on, I don't want you stepping on this. It doesn't look like it spread very far, but that's what you have to look out for. That glass glaze on the mug shattered and there could be a bunch of invisible pieces where we can't see them. Not to mention these really big pieces here. No, you're good. Just stay there. I'll have this cleaned up in no time. Are you sure you're okay? You seem upset. Oh, it's okay. These kinds of things happen. Yes, it was my favorite mug. I got it at an art fair a couple summers ago. It's just the best size for tea because my hands fit perfectly around it and it would keep my chilly fingers warm. Or I guess it was the perfect size. Maybe I can glue together the big pieces and use it as a pencil holder. Oh, oh, never mind. This part's really shattered. Yeah, almost. I just have to vacuum so I can get those teeny tiny pieces that the broom couldn't get. Oh, sure. You can move to safety. Just swing your legs up over the counter and go out the other way. Quick, escape while you can. <laughs> I know the vacuum is really loud and obnoxious, so I'll let you know when I'm done. That ought to do it. Baby, I'm done vacuuming. It's safe to come out. Oh, it looks like they were going to fix a snack. That's a good idea. Maybe I should have something too. Where are they? Honey, I'm done. Where are you? Oh, hi. It's all clear you can finish your stuff in the kitchen now. Come on. Are you okay? You seem really nervous. You're sorry? Oh, thank you. Stuff like this happens. You know, what are you going to do? <laughs> huh? You're really, really sorry? Yeah, okay. Well, it's all cleaned up, so you don't have to be sorry anymore. Am I mad? At you? No. Well, sure, I'm kind of sad. I really liked that mug, and I'm going to miss it now that it's gone. No, I'm not mad at you. Why would I be mad at you? It was an accident. Because I know you. I know you wouldn't do something like that on purpose. You're nice to me. You wouldn't break my stuff. I just know that. You don't have to explain yourself or prove anything. I believe you. You don't seem convinced. I'm just glad you're okay. Sometimes when things break, they can become projectiles. 
Hey, whoa, whoa, don't, don't call yourself names. No, uh-uh, don't be mean to yourself. If I broke a mug, would you say I was stupid and careless? No, of course you wouldn't. You're not mean like that. Don't be mean to yourself. People told you stuff like that for so long that you started saying it to yourself. But they're not here, and those words aren't true. Well, there's nothing wrong with dropping something. It doesn't mean you're a bad person, okay? Now, what are you eating? Because that looks good. I think I might have some of that. Whoa, a honey bear. You look like you're about to cry. Oh, sweetheart, it's okay. Why are you crying? You don't know? Are you just upset? I know breaking something can be really startling. Or is it just one of those days? What are you worried about? Oh, well... Baby, getting bad at you won't fix my mug. And it it's just not that big of a deal to me. Did you do it on purpose? No. I believe you. Look at me, my love. Nothing bad is going to happen. You're not in trouble. You don't have to feel guilty. I don't know if they believe me. They probably think I'm just saying this now and I'll get angry at them later. It's okay. It's just okay. That's, that's it. I'm not going to make you feel bad. I'm not going to get revenge. I'm not going to make fun of you. It's over. It's done. I swept it up and threw it all away in the trash. You don't have to be scared. No. (laughs) No, I don't think you're out to get me. I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing because something like that sounds ridiculous to me. Because I know you're not after me. I think you're wonderful. And I think you really care about me. And I really care about you. It's just weird. What is? Not being yelled at. Maybe someday that will feel normal. You don't know what to do now? What do you mean? Oh, usually you'd feel guilty for a long time. I don't want you to feel bad. You feeling bad does not make me feel better. I want you to have a good rest of your day. There is nothing in this house you could accidentally break that would make me love you any less. You are so much more important to me than a mug. I can get another mug. I could get 10 other mugs, but I can't get another one of you. I do realize how cheesy that sounds. (laughs) And I mean every word. Why do some people get so angry? That's a really good question. There's lots of reasons. Some people haven't learned how to identify and process their emotions, so they just react to all of it with anger. Some people have a lot of fear, and anger drives people away, and then that makes them feel like they are safe and have control in their life. Some people are more sensitive, so they feel things a lot more intensely. And it might take them half as long to get upset as someone else. Anger is a tough one. 
It can get out of hand really fast. It's kind of like fire. You can use it to power things or cook things, but it can also burn down an entire forest if we lose control of it. It can be dangerous or it can be useful. I'm sorry you've experienced misdirected anger from people who were supposed to be protecting you. It shouldn't have happened. But look around. You are home. You are safe. Here, we don't yell at each other. We don't hurt each other. We don't try to hurt each other. It was an accident. And, and it's sad, because sometimes accidents are, but it's going to be okay. Don't feel bad about it. You're very sweet to apologize, but it's, it's fine. I'll get over it. I love you so much. <laughs> Should we get back to snack time? Okay, <laughs> let's do it.